Hey, I'm Nick and today I want to share with you one of my favorite strategies for productivity or rather time management that I've come up with recently. And this one will only require simply your thought to boost your time management. It's got nothing to do with your surroundings or anything outside of your control. So I'll start with why you should keep watching or more why should you worry about these time management tips in the first place. And if you're like me, you'll probably have a lot of things that you're trying to work towards, but not a lot of time to do all those things at once. So time management, what I'm about to talk to you about, should be pretty attractive to keep on listening. Now, unlike the other things I've talked about before, I haven't really given this strategy a name, but more so think of it as the hours technique of how to put a label on it. And what I use it for is to find out the value of the current task that I'm working on to see if that value matches up with the time I'm spending on it. So that's a lot of talk, but not a lot about what it actually is. So step by step, here's how I'd use it. So to start, I'm working on something Maybe I'm online searching things, looking for stuff. However, a lot of the time you get tired, you get fatigued, you might stuff up a bit and you might get off track, but you're not 100% sure or rather you're still thinking, oh, I'm kind of getting something done or I'm kind of doing something right. So the next thing to do after you've nailed down what you're doing at that moment is to think about or rather visualize what spending an extended period of time on this one thing would lead to or more thinking about if you were to spend a couple or a few more hours just doing what you're doing right now would that be beneficial and from that it's pretty easy to see whether to keep on going with the task that you're doing at that moment or to pull back and reassess what you're doing so although that's a pretty simple explanation of what it is you're actually doing how is this actually going to help your time management and I'd say that there's three big ways that this is going to help you out. First off, it increases your focus. Not only the focus on what you're doing, but the focus on what you're trying to accomplish. And having that well-rounded view of your current task can help you push through and accomplish it better. Of course, with that focus comes the second thing, your prioritization. In that after you've executed the strategy, you now have a view in your mind of what needs to get done. And of course, to summarize all that, you practice your time allocation. In that, you're putting more time on the productive things instead of the things that you are wasting your time on. So when do I reckon this strategy could be useful to you? Well, that would be at any time when you're trying to accomplish a task, whether it's work, hobbies, or even little personal commitments that you've made. Of course, with work, it's important that you're putting the time in for stuff that's actually beneficial and you're not wasting your time, in turn, giving yourself more work for you to do. With your hobbies, it's more of a personal thing, as if you are practicing your hobbies or what you're passionate about, spending that time better focused on those things. Of course, you'll feel a lot happier in general. So that's pretty bare bones, what the hours more strategy, mentality, whatever you want to call it is. But to reiterate, no matter how good these strategies are, it's still important to include your goal setting, tracking your progress, and of course, staying flexible enough to deal with these changes that might crop up or changes that need to happen. So yeah, that's just a bit on my favorite strategy for increasing productivity, focus, and of course, in turn, my time management. And like with all these strategies that I've shared on this channel, feel free to incorporate it into your life or to anything you're working on. But aside from that, of course, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Here's some more videos of the channel if you want to check them out. That's up to you. But until then, I'll see you later.